Um, uh, I want to read, um, uh, my daughter is a writer, so she's very good. Her husband, they're both writers and they're so good. And she, I wanted to share a piece that she wrote, uh, their wedding anniversary is coming up. They were married on New Year's Day in 2014 and they've had such a hard time and I'm going to try to get through this out crying. I've had to redo this because I couldn't quit blubbering, so I'm trying. But it's such a strong testimony of their faith, and, and I just want to read this. As we near the beginning of 2023, I am filled with joyous memories of when Joel married me on a beautiful, blizzardy New Year's Day in 2014. I will never forget how perfectly the wedding came together or how God removed all seemingly impossible obstacles that naturally come along with planning a wedding in just 26 days while I simultaneously relocated the 130 miles to Des Moines. But God provided and he took care of all the little details too, every single one of them. I will have to share the full story someday. When Joel and I were first married and working to find our footing as husband and wife, we often joked that if Joel and I were boats, then he was like a barge, sturdy and steadfast throughout the waves around him, while I was more like a tugboat, susceptible to being tossed around by those same waves. As the years went by and I grew and matured, Joel would reclassify what type of watercraft I was. I think last time I checked a few years back, I might have leveled up to a yacht. All that to say, 2022 is the most difficult year that Joel and I have ever lived. But we grew closer through it. He was still my barge. I've always known that Joel is a man of steadfastness. But this year I got to witness ways in which his faithfulness reached new depths. He was there at my side for the diagnosis of our son, Zion, in the second trimester where we learned that we were likely to lose him at birth or before. He was there for Mer there for me during every can't sleep middle of the night tear that I cried as I waited through the profound anticipatory, anticipatory grief, staring down the unknown. He took care of me throughout the physical aches and pains of the hardest pregnancy I've ever endured. He supported and came alongside me through every decision we made together for baby Zion and even wholeheartedly uprooted our family to Omaha so we could give Zion every chance at life at the children's hospital. He held my hand on the operating table as our son was carved from my womb. He never left Zion's side that first day and night in the NICU when I was still hospitalized from the C-section and couldn't be there. He sent me pictures and updates about our beautiful boy so I wouldn't feel so alone in that birth recovery suite with the empty bassinet. He readily pushed me in a wheelchair through countless hallways and elevators throughout the children's hospital so I could be with our son on the sixth floor. He reassuringly had his hands on my shoulders in that, okay, this is hard, in that wheelchair. When I broke down in a darkened NICU suite full of doctors in white coats, as they told us in hushed tones that our son's heart was beginning to fail and there was nothing more they could do. Get it together, Jackie. <laughs> he led me through those next unthinkable moments, handling details I could not handle and making decisions I could not muster the courage to make. He has been present with me through every moment of a mother's grief and healing in the aftermath. He has been my listening ear, patient and receiving, regardless of if I'm repeating myself or even making sense. And in all of this, from the diagnosis until now, he has never once complained or grew tired of my tears. He has never once failed to turn me towards Christ, reigniting hope and a right perspective every time I needed it most. In all of my moments of fear or uncertainty this year, Joel was brave enough for the both of us, a trustworthy leader in every sense of the word, as I have always known him to be. And you guys, he really is. He's a good guy. And as we approach our wedding anniversary, I'm overcome with gratitude for the good and godly man that my husband is. I will never stop praising the Lord for bringing Joel and I together, sanctifying us through trials and triumphs, and carrying us both in his almighty hands these past nine years. Happy early 
anniversary, Joel Kryptonite is my hero, my barge. Thank you for marrying me. And this is them. This is Kelsey and Joel. I love them very much, and they're such a strong couple. And a, I, I, I never once questioned Joel as he came into Kelsey's life. Never once. I don't have to worry about her like I would otherwise. So please pray for this couple and uh, wish them a happy, merry, happy anniversary. <laughs> I love you guys. God bless you. Bye.